Hello, welcome to Guitar Summit. I'm here with Fred from PV. How's it going? Great. Good How to are see you? you? Great. Good to see you. And Fred and I had a conversation before we jumped on camera to talk about the, the past of PV, the present of PV, and the PV yet to come. Right. Rather Charles Dickens, that, right? Yeah, right. And the question I had for Fred is, I don't often see PV being played. How do we get, or how do you get, more people playing PV? Well, one of the biggest frustrations I have, uh, I've been around PV all my life. So when I started playing, I'm not even gonna say when, because I'm old, but uh, I, I played a PV amps first. My first bass was a PV amplifier. I was in a struggling musician for 17 years in a band, and I always worked in a music store selling PV product, right? Um, just to make a living. Mm -hmm. So naturally, when the band rock star thing didn't work out, <laughs> right? Which I it feel, doesn't I feel for you there. <laughs> but it doesn't for a lot of people. Um, I ended up being better at sales uh, than I was uh, at a, as a musician. So I started selling PV product all the way from 2003, uh, and then I was very loud about what was wrong with our products at that particular time in our history. And, uh, you know, Hartley was very generous to give me the opportunity to come in and fix some of the things. One of the first projects I ever worked on was Viper, actually, it was my very okay, first project great. coming in. But as a product development guy, I guess where this is all going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am focused uh, so much on making the best products I can uh, that sometimes I guess marketing is not, uh, I don't pay enough attention to the marketing thing. And, and, our, and our product and our company is guilty of that too because Hartley is a product guy. He's an R&D guy. He's a nuts and bolts guy. He always has been. And, and if you remember back in, when the world was a little different, we had a very, very large independent dealer network. Right. And they were all very loyal PV dealers. So we didn't really have to tell our story very well, right? So we would tell our story to the dealers and the dealers would tell the story to the people because okay. the people had to go to the independent music stores back then in order to get their knowledge, right? So if we were the only brand or one of two or three back in the day, we didn't really have to market to anybody but dealers. So as a result, we're not very good at marketing. We've been focused on, on how to get our message out because we got a good story. So. Any product that you see in this booth, I'm super proud of. And I'll tell okay. you why it exists in the marketplace, why it has a purpose. Mm -hmm. Do we always make great products? No. I mean, everybody screws up at one point or another. I mean, one of my biggest personal failures was auto-tune guitar, you know, because I was so excited about that I guitar. I remember that. Oh yeah, it was, it, what a great idea. It was all electronic, you play the guitar, it's always in tune, it can do different keys. I mean, it was, it was amazing, it can be different instruments. And, uh, I was so disappointed in how that did, but not everything's going to be a market success. I mean, that's right. just that's just how it goes. But when you put your heart and soul into something and it doesn't work out, you can either do one of two things: you can crawl under the bed and and, and, and pout, or you can do something about it and come yeah. out with something better and different. Yeah. So, um, I think now in our history, our company's history, we are making the best products we ever have. Now, okay. do we have some that are that have not done so well? Sure, sure. Have we made mistakes? Absolutely. But I think uh, the vision for what we have, like with Trace Elliott, for instance, I mean, that, that's the best bass amp in the world. I really believe that. Okay. Uh, we can talk about that later, but. I'm not a bassist. Uh, I'm a bassist, yeah, I am. You need to play bass. Yeah, okay, that's, that's great. my thing. So I, that's my, my baby. But from the 6505 reissue, which we're really, really proud of. Uh, and, and I think if customers could see the time and attention we, 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 we make and, and making that right, they would see a different PV. So if you came to talk to me or you came to talk to John, our engineer, uh, all of us are just a small group of yeah. renegade rock star failures, right? But we're, we're pretty good at making some good gear. Okay. And uh, I think it's part of the reason Adrian's back on board, by the way, doing this Vandenberg we're standing in front of is because he believes in the people that are at the company. And I think if you're right, you know, by getting a new website, to be better at social media, because I mean, I have to be honest, sometimes I see some of our social media posts and I'm like, well, what is that? <laughs> you know, and I'm the first person to jump on there and say, you know, da, 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 da. We, we, my group of friends in the guitar world, we send things like that around, like, what, yeah. is this? what are they what was doing? The, what is the point of that? But I can tell you for some reason, yeah, yeah. you are definitely not the worst. Yeah, I know. Okay? You are, you are a, a level above yeah. some. Yeah. But yeah, I want to thank you for being so honest with me. Yeah, so and cool. I, I do, there are several PV products I love. Uh, as we just talked about earlier, there was a trans tube I grew up with. The, my friend, he played that in one of my first bands. My first tube amp that I bought was a classic thir 30? Thir classic 30, sure. Yeah, um, yeah. And it was so loud. And I, I was from from Marshall Valve Estates. Yeah. And I took it on one and went, in my bedroom, woke up my whole family. Yeah. 
So I got in a big trouble because, so thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome, um, you're welcome. That's but what we do. I want to know if you were playing PV or if you've ever played PV or how you feel about PV now, because Fred's going to read the comments in this, right? Sure, sure, absolutely. And that's the best way to get this marketing is to know how people that play your instruments and your amps feel. Yeah. And then respond to it and react to it. Well, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, when I read stuff, I'm very approachable. Mm. I mean, there's only one Fred at PV. That's me. And, and, and you literally can call PV and ask for Fred and I'll pick up the phone. Cool. I mean, it's not like we try to hide from anybody, right? Well, I'll read the comments. I'll interact with people. If somebody's got a problem, I'm always willing to help out. We are a very, very small company. I mean, compared to it's like David and Goliath, us versus some of these people we compete with. Sure. And uh, the best thing about being that way sometimes is we can move on a dime. Mm -hmm. We don't answer to a board of directors. Mm -hmm. The company is still owned 100% by Hartley PV. I mean, he was at the office when I left, right. you know, I mean, and, and so if somebody comes to me and says, hey, I got a great idea to make something better, it's done. I mean, we can literally, that's how easy it is to get something changed. This morning when we were all sitting around uh, with the Vandenberg guitar, one of the first guys that came up to the booth had 30 Vandenberg guitars. So he, he, he's like the fanboy. Wow. So naturally I'm sweating it. I'm like, well, crap, you know, this guy knows okay, more so about Vandenberg. Yeah, 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 sure. This is okay. a new one. And he comes in with his Vandenberg. And the first thing, you know, instead of me being adversarial, I pull it out and I'm like, yay, let's, let's compare this thing. Cool. Let's see what's different. Cool. And you know what the end result is? We're going to the factory on Monday and I'm going to make some changes based right. on feedback from the biggest Vandenberg fan that was at the show today. So Fantastic. this is how we work. Yeah. Thank you, Fred. Thank oh, you for your time. Oh, anytime. anytime. Uh, I want to see PV, you know, roaring back up there. Yeah. And I know you are in certain places. I'm not in the metal area, for example but I want to get another Classic 30 in the place because it's one of my favorite amps I've ever played. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Am I completely wrong? Are you a PV player? What do you think of Fred? Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, leave that part out, what do you think of Fred? <laughs> um, but yeah, I really appreciate you and PV yeah. being so open and so um, accessible to people like us. Oh, it's, what do you mean? I'm the same. You know, I'm just a, a, a failed rock star and a kind of wannabe bass player. So, I mean, I. We're all in this together, and the whole thing we want to do, at the PV's philosophy, is I'm going to make gear that people can afford, good gear that people can afford. And on the high end of it, I'm going to make the best gear I know how to make. So that's, that, that, that's the okay. two parts of our company, and, and I hope we do a good job. Sometimes we do a good job. Sometimes we screw up just like anybody else. But I think um, if you give PV a shot, uh, look at the gear we're making nowadays, I think you'll be more than impressed, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you'll be a PV customer for life. Subscribe comment, all that, and make a cup of tea and go and play guitar. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Bye-bye.